one time in particular that I had a very, very difficult time. Um, but I must say that uh, Leonard Goldenson came to my defense. And the stories that I was reporting had to do with the war between Daryl Zanuck and his son, Dick Zanuck, and what was happening in the boardroom, and who was going to wind up running the studio. And every day, it was a continuing story. Something new had happened, and they, this is what they were saying in the boardroom, and this is what they were saying in the boardroom. And Daryl Zanuck called Leonard Goldenson up and he said, if you don't take that girl off the air and fire her, I am going to remove every single 20th Century Fox television show from the ABC network. According to Leonard, as he told me the story, he said, I listened and I said to him, Daryl, if she has said something that is libelous or truly incorrect, why don't you just file a lawsuit? And if there's really nothing to it, then why don't you give her credit for having to have some very good sources? He never filed the lawsuit, but it was very touch and go and touch and go. And then I, I did have another incident about uh, a movie at Universal. Um, and uh, it, 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 it involved the second or third remake of Bo Jest. And I said, it wasn't enormously funny. And I said, I, and, and not as, uh, it had about the same humor as its uh, as the president Sidney Scheinberg, or something like that. <laughs> and Sid Scheinberg wrote a letter to Leonard Goldenson, and he wrote letters to um, uh, to the head Rune Arledge, the head of news, <laughs> and he wrote letters to everyone. And in the letter, he said. I'm putting Rona Barrett on my enemies list. This was right after Nixon had come out with his enemies list. And Leonard Goldenson and Elton Rule both called me and he said, what in the hell is this all about? I said, it's about a movie review. And, I, and he said, a movie review? I said, yes, a movie review. And he said, I just don't believe that somebody in that capacity would write a letter like that. And of course, for years, Sid Scheinberg would never talk to me. And um, <laughs> I had a couple of drug stories during those days that um, the lawyers just were a little bit icky about. But- um, You mean like celebrities on drugs or? Oh, yes, and how the drugs were being passed around at the studios. And uh, I was in particular talking about Universal one day, uh, and I was doing a whole, a whole series of stories on drugs and movies and how they were making these horrible films in the 70s. And uh, And so um, Lou Wasserman was watching the broadcast, and he starts calling up Sid Scheinberg and several of his other executives wanting to know, did you hear what Rona Barrett is saying about us and everything else? He says, we've got to do something about this. This is just not right. And I believe it was Scheinberg who said, you know what, Lou? What she's saying happens to be somewhat the truth. And he said, what? Well, we gotta do something about it. We've got to stop this drug nonsense here at our studio. <laughs> well, anyway, I, that, went in, that went into another story that I cannot tell, uh, but it was a, a very funny story and uh, it kind of um, changed my relationship with, with Lou Wasserman who thought I was very funny after that.